A man with money does what he wants. A lot of women can't take a man serious when he don't have money, so they keep the same energy when they do have money. You see, I always say the day before anybody is rich or successful, they not. What point do y'all all of a sudden become real and think that a man should be faithful with you? If I all of a sudden become rich, now everybody want me? Come on, man. I'm not dumb enough to think it ain't about that. And the fact that they actually willing to share with y'all still is crazy. But then y'all be expecting to be faithful with this? Come on, man. How dumb do y'all really expect men to be? But y'all don't have no problem talking all this shit. Y'all confuse bums with people who just not where they want to be yet. That's why you miss out. I have OnlyFans. This here's the cold hard truth. Mm. I gotta give it what to happened? you. So don't tear up. Oh God, are you gonna, I already know where it's going. The type of men that you want won't want you because it's different types of top tier men. You got men that make money, but they're simpish in the mind. Mm -hmm. And those men you could run laps around and they don't truly know their value, so you're not really gonna respect them long term. Yeah, I don't want that. You may they may attract you by pulling up in a nice whip. They may attract you by, you know, maybe saying the right thing at the right moment, or you just may smell the money on them. Mm -hmm. Long term ain't gonna work because they beta in the mind. Mm -hmm. So you got those type of males. They don't understand any value. But the men that actually understand their value and understand women right these men look for certain types of characteristic traits in a woman they look for a virtuous woman mm -hmm. and the only fans would disqualify you from a huge majority of those men i go to church you know, i read the bible I pray to God. Listen, I have a conversation with God every day. He knows what but I'm doing. But you it. still throw the OnlyFans up there like, oh God, well, my booty. Well, well, can I? Now, reality can be whatever I want. So I guess her logic is as long as she show for the sermon on Sundays, it's okay for her to go out and be a high-tech digital prostitute. Guy caught his girlfriend cheating, but instead of flipping out, he got a very public revenge. 23-year-old Dustin had been with his girlfriend for a few years, but everything changed when she cheated on him. On a regular Monday morning, Dustin went to work like usual. While he was at work, he felt something off because he texted his girlfriend and she hadn't texted him back in an hour. Usually it was no big deal, but Dustin felt something was wrong. So during Dustin's lunch break, he decided to go home to see if she was okay. When he got home and walked inside the house, what he saw was unexpected. Dustin saw his girlfriend in bed with another guy. It's an evil world we live in. But his reaction would shock you. Instead of Dustin flipping out and waking them up, he decided to do the total opposite. Dustin took out his phone and took a bunch of selfies with his cheating girlfriend. He then posted it on the internet and walked away. <laughs> <laughs> the next morning when the girlfriend saw that everyone had seen the posts, she began freaking out and started blowing up Dustin's phone. But Dustin did not care and blocked her on everything. His immediate reaction was to expose his cheating girlfriend to the world and never speak to her again. You better learn how to walk away and cut a chick off because if you don't, you're going to be the fool. Listen, the fact that she did that in the apartment they lived in together, that was the first time she did it. That just happened to be the first time she got caught. And it turns out the excuse that she wanted to use was that she got sloppy drunk and didn't really have control of her actions. And it's so interesting how people who drink too much always use that as their excuse to when something goes wrong. Because essentially all they're saying is, I know that when I drink, bad things tend to happen to me that I end up regretting, but I'm gonna still do it anyway and didn't use that as my excuse. How many bodies you got? Why you roll your... It says like a bad class. I don't care. Oh! I know. <laughs> I really don't know. Like, I haven't counted. Oh, that's nasty. And I can't really... <laughs> God damn. No, no, not like that, though. <laughs> That's a pack. I mean, if you can't even remember the amount of people you slept with, then you probably have been racking up quite the numbers. And she can't even use the excuse that she's an older woman because she looks like she's pretty young. So what it looked like she was doing was passing it out to every Tom, Dick, Pookie, Chad, and Tyrone who she thought was attractive. Because for you to forget or not be able to remember how many people you slept with probably means it was pretty forgettable once the moment passed. If I'm lying, I'm dying. Are you jealous? No. Okay. But I do have boundaries. What's your boundaries? I mean, I can... Like, what would make you upset? What would make me upset? Yeah. Or what would be like, I don't want to talk to this person anymore? Um, like, if I just tell you not to do something, and then, like, you deliberately do it again, <laughs> you know? Um, 
Like if we're dating, I wouldn't want you to go, to go out to the club with your girls, so. You say you wouldn't want me to go to the club with my girls? No. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. So you want me to stay at home all the time? No, I mean, we could be together all the time. What the fuck you need to be at the club for? If you, no, if you... I'm not saying like if we go, okay, so if I went out every now and then with my girls? No, especially not with that ass, you crazy. That mean that you're insecure? <laughs> Get the French toast out of here. Well, while I like to say I'm surprised by her response, I'm really not. Because the second a man starts to set boundaries, set up a standard, and say things that he just does not agree with and does not want to put up with in a relationship, you can count on most women being prepared to whip out that old, he's insecure card in order to make him feel guilty or bad for what he thinks. But you can't let things like that dissuade you from where you stand. I mean, yeah, but those are my boundaries. If you don't like them, it's okay, you can leave. I'm just saying like, I'm not gonna stop you. Those are my boundaries, though. Good job, my brother. We rocking with you. Okay, I'm gonna leave. Thank you. She like, she like when a man's in control. You can tell. Yeah, yeah. You can tell she <laughs> like that. I like that, but you know. You saying that I can't go out with my friends, right? What do you? Can you answer me something? Yeah. If you, if you are in a relationship with somebody mm -hmm. and you really love them, yeah. And they're doing everything they need to do as a man for you. Mm -hmm. What the fuck do you need to be out the club for? I'm not gonna say that, cause. Okay, let me tell you. So, I'm like a very submissive woman. Right. Okay. Okay, I like to take care of my men, like as far as in the household. I like to cook, I like to clean, but like controlling, I don't yeah. like that. I'm not controlling though. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't control anything. I tell you my boundaries, and if you cross it, then I'm just gonna tell you, hey, look, I, I don't fuck with that. So like, you can go this way, and I'll go my way. I'm not gonna ever tell you to not do something. I don't control shit. I've never been that way. But I do enforce my boundaries. Okay. And I make them clear from the very get-go. I don't sit there and wait until like the middle of a relationship to start setting these boundaries like all these right. other niggas. You know what I'm saying? So if I tell you boundaries in the beginning of a relationship and you agree to them, and then later on in the relationship, you cross them, yeah. I'm gonna just have to be like kindly, like, hey, listen to me. I told you my boundaries and you crossed them, so I'm gonna have to go this way and you go that way. Okay, so what if me and my homegirls wanted to go out for brunch? Would you go with us? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna get my closer. All right. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, no, no. He, he keeps them. He keeps And really, I think from this example, she's just trying to mix everything up as if he's saying it's not okay for her to ha ever hang out with her friends, especially the single ones. When I don't really think that's the case because going out to brunch with your friends, which is essentially sitting down for a meal at a restaurant, is vastly different than going out to a nightclub. But I'm be honest, I find it hard to take anything she says seriously, especially when she's walking around with that BBL looking how it does. But that's just me. I was so uncomfortable. Um, so I finally get around to my set. Now I want you to notice he's looking around everywhere. Make sure nobody's looking. He has his phone in his hand. Mm -hmm. And just briefly, after he walks through, you can see that He's going to lift his camera up. He's going to take a quick Snapchat with the fin yep, with the finger and put it right back down. When I was not looking, of course, because that's what predators do. Fucking creep. And I am so glad that I did not see you do this because if I did, I'd be in jail and you'd be in the hospital. It's always funny, but even more so just sad. Whenever I see people like this who for some reason tend to think that they're the main character in everybody else's life. And the situations like this where because she's not comfortable living in her own skin, that she thinks everybody's out staring at her because something's wrong with her. And the reality is for most people, they could care less about what some stranger has going on with their life. Unfortunately, she didn't get the memo. But wait, there's more. Update. Because that's what predators do. Just want to give an update from this video the other day where this woman falsely accused this man of taking a photo of her at the gym then proceeds to call him a predator and even threatens to put him in the hospital. Luckily, a friend of his that serves with him in the Navy recognized him and reached out to me. He let me know that this man doesn't even have Instagram. He only has Facebook. So we sent him the video. He was very, very upset by this and explained that he wasn't taking a photo of her. He was actually taking a screenshot to send to his wife 
who was also very, very upset, which actually makes sense because if you watch the video, you can see his middle finger and thumb actually squeeze the phone. I let him know that if he wanted to take legal action, that one of my lawyers, Shaheen Namui, would handle it for him. He said he would let me know. Also spoke to this gym, Choose Fitness. They were incredible. They immediately removed this woman from the gym, rightly so, and they gave this man a free gym membership. So hats off to them. To this young woman, I hope you have it in you to apologize to that man. If not, I hope he does press charges. You need to do better. Mind your own business. Congratulations, you played yourself. We hit one year. We hit one year. We have been together for one whole year, February 25th. So y'all know, what's your biggest takeaway from our relationship so far? So I would say in this first year, we took the time to focus on quality instead of quantity. Mm. So like really enjoying each other, getting to know each other, figuring out like what we like, what we expect from each other, all that good stuff. Uh, I think my biggest takeaway would have to be um, learning how to push through the hard times. You know, I think a lot of times we get so used to, like, finding something that we don't like and then running away from it. Yeah. Um, but I think we truly developed a stronger love for each other when we had hard times. Like, no, no serious fighting and arguing, but, like, just, you know, tough times. And it, and it really showed our perseverance and our love for each other. Yeah. Yes, that's where endurance is created. Absolutely. Listen, the healthiest relationships... You'll never see them on the internet. You'll see people trying to imitate what a healthy relationship looks like, but you'll never see the healthiest relationships out there on the internet because those people understand that you don't invite outsiders <laughs> into your life and give them a voice. And this is why you got to take all the complaints about men, all the complaints about women. You got to kind of take it with a little bit of grain of salt because you're always going to hear the worst of people. People tend to not overly brag about good news and good things going on in their life as much as they complain about the bad. And as long as you could kind of remember that while you're navigating social media and understanding what you're viewing, then you'll be under okay in understanding that there are good, healthy relationships out there, even if you don't get to see it normally, because those people are just intelligent enough to understand, don't invite people into your business. Anyway, guys, questions, comments, those of feedback, go ahead and drop them down below. I appreciate when you guys chime in. Don't forget you can support this channel by hitting that like and subscribe button. And as always, until next time.